Okay, down here in the shop, we're kind of messing around a little bit today. I just picked up a new meter, uh, electrical meter. It do AC and DC. It do AC, AC and DC current. Uh, right here it is. Here's the manual. This is what came with it. Of course, there's some stuff in it. Uh, you should you should definitely go over if you buy one. It's going to really help you out. Uh, this in here is the. You can see if you can see that right there. It is the 21 51 zero and 400 amp and it's called uh, a clamp meter um, software pretty pretty good product so I did a little bit of review I didn't do a lot but now this is uh, one of the cheaper ones I would say the lower end let's don't go cheaper because I uh, that don't even sound right let's go lower end uh, model of the the, the, the software at the clamp one because they, they have so many different things I mean they got different types of tools all kinds of stuff and they call it clamp is like this so basically what this thing kind of does well let's let's back up for a second let's don't explain this in here let's tell you the reason why I kind of kind of bought it so uh, and what I used to use so here we go now here we go this is this is older uh, we can call this old school I guess you want to call it I've had this thing for quite a few years I mean quite a few years uh, I, I, they probably still make them but this in here I think I, I I paid something around 15, maybe 12, 15 bucks, something like that, years ago. Uh, it, of course, I got two of these now. The reason why, I'll tell you the reason why in a second. Uh, here's your uh, two probes here on both sides, so you can, you know, so you can take them out in, in your test, test your things. But uh, the way this thing works, it works. It has a spring inside of here, so when electric current hold grabs the hold of it, it actually pulls it down. So it pulls down to 120 or 240. Uh, the reason why I got two of these is because I don't like touching anything that I'm not for sure that it absolutely don't have any electric in it. So I, I'll actually have two of these and I'll test it twice. And then I'll get in there and I'll start doing my, uh, my wiring. You know what I need to do, wire something up or, you know, reconnect something or replace something. Uh, but it's really, really smart if you go out and make sure you got two testers if you're going to mess with electric, which I don't advise anybody to mess with electric. I had to tell you, get a, a contractor, somebody that's uh, qualified as an electrician. Uh, the safety comes first. And uh, trust me, you know, I've heard a lot of bad stories about people, you know, getting shocked. Okay, let me go ahead and set this off to the side. And I'm going to explain to you what I know. And I'm probably not absolutely right because I have not owned one of these before. But I wanted to share it with you because uh, I definitely want to do another a small update on it to to, uh, to let you guys know a little bit about it. Sometimes I get to my updates and sometimes I don't because I, I do so many different things in a day. Well this one here I thought it was really neat and one of the options is let's start up to the top right here. Okay, There's a sensor up here. Okay, And then of course you know there's it runs back and forth here so the way it kind of works first, let's go. Let's start the way it starts. Let's get it. Let's get it turned on. It's on the off uh, thing. I'll show you the display. I still got the plastic on the display piece here, so I just picked it up. And I did a little bit of my research on it, but I'm learning. Everybody's learning. So if I turn it on, here you go. You can see the display here, and it has a off and on light, so you can keep the light on. It has a hold button over here, so if I get a, a reading for something. I can press hold and it'll save that reading for me and then I can go back later and see so I if I if that readings off or what it is uh, let's take that hold back off and there's also a mode button now I'm not real good with the mode button but we're gonna get to uh, wind up getting into that maybe the next uh, review if I do another re review or not uh, it's got the AC current and then also it has a DC current now the DC current, uh, what I wanted it AC and DC. What I wanted the DC current for is uh, for a power supply that I'm picking up. I'm buying it. Should be in here pretty soon, and I need to test it and make sure I'm running the right amps on it because I'm putting it onto a, a CB, and this will go up to 400 amps. So that's really cool. Um, that's a lot. I mean, uh, basically, that's really a lot for what. Um, say a homeowner would use it for just not even a homeowner just somebody that does electrician like electrical work but it's not actually an electrician but like me I've been doing it for years uh, and then it also it also has a uh, a temperature 
uh, wire that goes with it and I thought that was really really good now if I'm going to use it in the mode to pick up on this top so I'll show you what this first sensor does so let me turn it all the way up here to the NCB and the NCB I thought was really cool is that okay I got a live extension cord here and this is a 12-2 uh, wire and what I'm going to do with it I'm just going to take this and wave across it just get close enough to it and you'll see that light coming on here now and that's letting me know that there's uh, live current running into that wire now the way these things actually work is uh, if I'm going to be inside of a, a electrical box and uh, I have a wire there's a short someplace and I'm not getting electric through that wire it's going to show me the current in that wire so just say this wire here is inside of electrical box and what you would do is take this and you would clamp it around the wire and then it would give you a reading and then of course you can press the whole button and hold it there now they're really designed for just a one a one wire okay they're designed for this one wire so on the back of this if you'd have one wire coming out of here and maybe one wire coming up here you would check you would be able to test just say for instance this is kind of a big wire but you would just check this one side or you would check this other side so you're only checking one wire to see if there's a current through that wire and then of course if this is in the wall this if this outlets in the wall you can also just come across and see you know if there's uh, electric current inside of there so that's that's pretty cool because if you're inside of a box electrical box like I said you can clamp it like this it works really nice and then it tells you to reading and then uh, of course you set it and everything uh, okay set that back over here now it's now the thing I really like about it I thought was really cool is uh, the thermos thermostat so uh, what do you want to call it? here let's see what it does is okay they give you a thermostat wire right here and on the end of it's bare and then of course it's got the plus and the minus with so it go like this take it put it in the bottom here and then you would take this and run it up here and then right now here in the in this uh, shop it's 60 66 degrees uh, so uh, it's catching the temperature off the end of this wire so that's pretty cool so if I was going to go into an electrical box and uh, just say for instance this time of the year you have two heaters on a wire that's in your maybe your bedroom and uh, which that's that's a lot of it's a lot of heater or you, maybe your heater's a pretty big size electric heater okay let me pull this okay this is a double pole 30 here and uh, so it's actually two 30 amp breakers together okay and that's the way they come you can buy you can get a single you know just 130 now that would be kind of high to run into your room a 30 amp because if you run a 30 amp into the room, of course, you have to go what size wire you're going to need for that 30 amp. So you don't want to put a small electrical wire, like a, say, 14-2, on something this size, on a 30 amp. 30 amp, you, I mean, you, your wire is going to be a lot bigger than a 14-2. And a lot of houses got 14-2 in it. Now, anything I ever wired up and, you know, wired up a couple houses is I always made sure I had 12 -2, at least 12-2 wire on everything now. But they still put the 14-2 in it because it's a little bit cheaper. But just get back to this. Just say, for instance, where uh, you're a little worried because uh, you got that new heater stuck onto your, um, you know, into your bedroom, and you know you hear horror stories and everything. People talking about, oh, it was electrical fire, it's electrical fire, and you know, and uh, it's not very nice, you know. So we're not going to go any further than that. Uh, this would actually be a one up for you to uh, to have something like this or have somebody come out and test your breaker and what you would do you would just come around just kind of test your breaker and you know you don't want to touch it no electrical uh, and it's going to bring up what type of heat is coming off of that breaker so that's pretty cool or even even a wire I mean if you got something like this you know even a wire it's still going to bring you some type of temperature and tell you if that breaker is overheating and then you're you definitely need to unhook that heater. Get it off of there as quick as you can. Um, that's that's one thing I thought. You can go into a box and you can test your breakers out and make sure your breakers are not overheating. That you don't got too much electric, uh, too much current running through those wires. Uh, that was that's a great thing. And and then also like 
if you're working in on your like a computer and you have uh, your computer's running hot too you, you got uh, a heat sink in there the heat sink underneath of your uh, processors are a little hot oh that's a great thing going in just kind of touch the side of the heat sensor a little bit you know your heat sink and then find out how hot that thing is going to tell you the temperature on it that's it's even great for computers see uh, something like that so uh, it's a nice little tool I thought it was really cool they give you uh, take this up and give you these here a couple of these little prongs here and uh, of course that's really good for your you know your AC too or actually you don't have to use for your AC uh, you can use it for DC or whatever you want get that thing a little bit see they even have a little hook in the back here you can hook it so more of a hand free you know so you can hold on to this with the work light um, pretty neat I mean pretty neat so I'm learning it came with uh, of course this here these wires uh, it came with uh, the heat uh, temperature wire and also, of course, your, your manual and a really cool case that you can keep it inside the case to keep it clean. But if you're going to have anybody, you know, if, you're, if you need something, test it out. Hey, come on, guys. I mean, uh, just call somebody up that's uh, qualified to do this stuff and to be safe, okay? Especially this time of the year, it's getting cold outside and uh, we're wanting to plug those heaters in. And you know what? You could probably call a contractor or your power company. I don't know somebody will come out. But it, it's a lot safer to come out and say, hey, I put a new heater in. Can you test it and see if, if my wire is big enough? I'm not going to have any, any kind of accidents. So uh, be safe this, this winter as much as you can. And I uh, hope everybody has a good one. So, Okay, uh, there you go on the new meter. The... Southwire, this is probably the cheapest one they make. Uh, no, I don't say cheapest, I see the lower model one. It does what I need it to do. So uh, maybe you guys can look around and be safe. So, okay. There you go. Thanks for watching.